Well, there's a new kid on the block and it's Team Sky. And they certainly have taken the infrastructure of professional cycling teams to a new level. We thought we'd go behind the scenes and have a look. Talking about the, the, the mechanics bus that's right here be, behind us, it's actually the first of its kind within cycling. It's an expander bus, so uh, the guys can push the button, it expands out, gives them so much more room. You can now actually work inside the bus, which or inside the truck, which uh, other teams have never been able to do. Yes, exactly. You know, First of all, I would say that a lot of the other teams are very jealous of us. <laughs> what I can say that we can work inside, even though it's like a raining day, yep. winter, summer, we can work inside. So it's a lot for other teams are quite jealous, you know. Now look, let's talk about the equipment you guys have come to the Tour de France with. How many bikes um, does each rider have and how many bikes in total are here? Okay, if you say we have nine riders here, okay, with now uh, each riders we have three bikes, that is road bike I'm talking about, mm -hmm. plus time trial bike, each guy have one beside Bradley Wiggins, Thomas Lockwich and Edward. That mm -hmm. is total of 50 bikes we are carrying. 50 bikes here on the tour. Yeah. Now, each of these bikes are the Pinarellos, the model you guys are running with the configurations with the Shimano. In Australia, sell for about $18,000 each, and each rider times nine, three bikes each. That's a lot of uh, lot of material here. So you just calculate yourself. If 18,000 uh, Australian money, you calculate by 50 bikes. Mm. So you can get the number right. <laughs> now, wheels, what about sets of wheels? We have um, wheels of uh, six kind of wheels, actually. That we have a Shimano C50, C35, mm -hmm. C34, and then we have the Stinger 4, Stinger 6, and Stinger 9, we call it. So we have six kind of different wheels. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the riders to choice, to choose which stage they want to use it. Mm -hmm. So that total of 60 pair of wheels we're carrying, that is 120 wheels we are carrying the truck. Well, we're going to have a look at the Team Sky bus. Now I'm here with their bus driver, Slarky, who was stolen from Formula One. Now I'm told that uh, no expense was spared in bringing you across from Formula One. Uh, no, that's true. I'm, I'm probably the best paid uh, bus driver in the world, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and look, it's an extraordinary bus. We're just going to go inside and, and take a look now. Well, this is a pretty special space, I tell you, for a rider. Uh, we're in business class seats here, very comfortable. I've got my footrest up. Slarky, can you take us through some of the creature comforts that the guys, even though they're very, very tired, obviously, after doing a, a stage of the Tour de France or any big bike race for that matter, it's still a pretty nice place to be in. Yeah, for sure. It, was, um, it wasn't really, it was designed to be like a business class lounge, like you said, uh, hence the business class seats. Actually a little bit better, we think, a little bit more comfortable. Mm. Um, but it, we didn't really look at it as a bus but a, a recovery area for the riders um, you know we tried to create a lot of space in here uh, a lot of comfort for them uh, which hopefully we've achieved uh, certainly they like it um, and it is yeah for sure it's a great place to recover and they can get straight online they can tweet they can check Facebook whatever they want to do or Skype call they're, they're connected to the internet here as well yeah for sure um, when we're stationary uh, we have satellite internet which is uh, super quick um, so we, we put the dish up, um, but even when we're on the move, uh, we, we still have a 3G network, uh, obviously a wireless router on here, or they can connect through their uh, laptops uh, direct by the cable, mm -hmm. um, which is yeah obviously good for communication, they can check their emails, etc. Mm -hmm. um, they've got all their chargers here, they've all got uh, Mac laptops, um, hence these uh, little tables that they can screw on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they've all got their own uh, skyboxes in here as well, so uh, they can hook that up to their Mac with some special software. Uh, all of them can watch a different channel at the same time. Mm. Uh, they've all got noise cancelling headphones if they need a bit of me time. Yeah. Uh, so they can, yeah, they can either mingle, or either watch a DVD or a Blu-ray, listen mm. to some music. Nice both surround sound system on here as well, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool place to be. I think I might book this uh, for maybe a Christmas party later in the year. Yeah, for sure. I'm now, taking bookings. <laughs> and you've also got uh, the big screen at the front here, and you record every stage of the Tour de France so that the guys can watch back the stage on, on their way to the hotels. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we have uh, we can record all the races. Uh, we've mm. got a gyroscopic dish on the back that gives us a signal when we're travelling from the uh, start to the finish. Mm -hmm. um, so most of the time we can, uh, we can record the race for the guys as well, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. now back past from here, the riders will sit here, they try and start their recovery straight away. But as we go further down, back into the bus, there are showers, there's a whole bunch of things. Could just explain what's at the back of the bus. Yeah, um, at the back of the bus, we've got a little um, galley area there, uh, really nice uh, coffee machine that grinds the beans from fresh. 
Um, we normally prepare rice for them at the end of a mm -hmm. at the end of a race. Um, we've got a, a big uh, cooler there for all their recovery drinks, um, water, uh, and you know we always like have some fruit for them. Yeah, first thing is normally the shower. We've got two power showers in there, um, a, a proper flushing toilet, which is quite nice, and uh, a urinal as well, hand dryer, and. In the back, um, we've got like a, a treatment room stroke meeting room um, with leather seats in the back. They all lift up, uh, table pulls out so the doctor and the soigneurs can treat in there if they need to. Um, we've also got some pretty bling glass back there so that if we need to shut it off and not see, uh, not let anybody see in there for a private meeting, we can, we can do that as well. So it, it doubles up as two things. Well, it's a little bit different to uh, you know a young under 17 or under 15 rider getting changed in the back seat of mum and dad's car out in the middle of a field somewhere at some small bike race. Thanks, yeah. it's like it's fantastic.